everybody. I hope that you're having a fantastic week this week. I'm a little late getting started this week because I've been volunteering and it's taking up a lot of my time. But that plays into what I'm going to talk about today. We're continuing the series on how to live with brilliant balance. And part of that is knowing, as I discussed in the last post on this issue, who are you? Knowing yourself. And then why do you matter is the next question. Have you ever wondered that? Why do I matter? In fact, many of us face this wall once in a while in life and we ask, do I matter? And that's a very important first question to get under control. We need to know that unlike what existential poets and writers have often said, we do matter. We do have a significance collectively as people and individually. We each are created uniquely. Therefore, because we are each different like snowflakes, we are all designed with different gifts, different packaging, different limitations, which is also an important part of our reach and our impact on other people, and different passions, different things that drive us. We have different things that tug at our hearts, different things for which we're created, and we should look at those things as clues as to why we individually have a specific purpose. We all have the same collective purpose. Every one of us is created to glorify the one who created us. We were made in his image. And because he made each of us unique, he took the time to do something different with you that had never been done with anything else. So no one else is just like you. He didn't take the time to craft you for no reason. And you were created to glorify God by the way you were created in a specific way. We each glorify God and we all glorify God. But you alone can do what you were created to do. Hey, Jim, how are you? It's good to see you. And it's good to see all of you that join me here, even when you comment afterwards. I want you to let me know, are there things that I can pray about that you are struggling with regarding your purpose? And we're going to talk about this a little bit more, but be thinking, are there ways that I'm different from other people? Are there things that I can do that God has created me for a purpose? If you're a writer like I am, you're not going to be the same kind of writer I am. Every writer has a unique voice. Every person who does similar jobs, you'll find that every singer has a different way of doing what they do. It isn't the same as in the world where we kind of all tend to compare and say this one's worthwhile, this one's not. Each person has a meaning and a significance. They're going to reach certain people that no one else will in a way that no one else will. So be sure that you understand you do matter and you matter for a specific purpose. And then start to think about why do I matter? And what can I do about it? That'll be the next thing that we talk about is where are the people that you're meant to impact? What are the places that you can deliver that effective impact that you're made to deliver among certain people and in certain ways and in certain places? So we'll talk about that a little bit more next week. It's good to see you, Jenny. It's good to see you, Jim. And I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed week and that you feel like your purpose matters where God has put you specifically. Have a great and blessed day.